Hey guys, it's Ariel. So today I'm here with Gabriella as again, but today I want to teach you something a little different than I usually do. It's how to remove hair extension glue from hair. I'm first going to show you how to properly install hair extension so it's not as hard to take out. And then, as of well, how to properly take out a hair extension so it doesn't hurt or uh, frustrate you in the long run and you just cut your hair off. So I sectioned off her hair and we made it a really, really clean part so you know exactly what you're doing. I'm also using blonde hair extension so you can see kind of where I'm going to be putting the hair extension. And I have black glue so you can see the application onto the hair extension and the removal process. So the first thing you want to know is never take a hair extension that is way too big and glue it on there. You're just going to have too much excess. You're always going to want to trim them down and cut them. So for this um, little tutorial, I'm going to do um, like I think two or three hair extensions. I'm going to do one with conditioner and one with my special product when we're removing them. So I'm going to do two separate hair extensions. But you always want to do a hair extension a little, little, you know, a little smaller than you think you want because once you place it on there and glue it there it's good and you don't want anything popping out from the sides of your ears or anything like that so I'm taking like I think an inch and a quarter for the both of the hair extensions these are doubled I doubled these up when I was in uh, high school so these are really old hair hair extensions and they're not too bad of shape but I'm never gonna wear these again you can keep using hair extensions if you would like. Um, there's nothing wrong with taking them out, washing them, putting them back in, and then even doing a deep conditioning on them. So it's fine. So here we have two hair extensions. I'm going to place them, you know, fairly close to each other. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put your hair extension onto a flat surface and glue down. So I'm going to show you that now. So we have the hair extension laying on a flat surface. Put it on something that you don't really care about because if the glue does get stuck to fabric, it's kind of there until you can uh, work it out. And sometimes it's easier just to throw out your uh, your messed up products. So this glue, I'm pretty sure I just got at a beauty store and it's the Salon Pro 30 Second here. And it is in black or dark brown, I can't remember. So you're going to shake it up just a little bit. And you're going to place that right on the the weft of the hair. Not on the hair, but on the weft, so on this little plastic radiated part. So we're just going to glue that right down. And you don't need a lot. A lot of people think, oh, we're going to need to put a lot on here. So, uh, no, you don't need a lot. Oops. Ooh, there we go. Took a minute to get out. So... There we go. We got a nice clean line of the hair extension glue on the weft of the hair. And you're going to close this back up because if you don't, it's going to dry really, really fast. And I'm going to take that tip and I'm just going to put it on the back of my skin because it is so easy just to remove it off the back of your skin other than a towel or um, something else. So we have our hair. A lot of people make the mistake of gluing the hair directly on the scalp. Never do that. That's going to clog your pores and it's even going to make it grow in hairs. So you're going to take it and you're going to put it directly below where you want your uh, hair extension to be. So we're going to say, this is, you can see this is the scalp. So we're going to put it directly below that. So if that can help you out. And you're going to just going to hold it there for a couple seconds. So we're going to add a little bit of glue to this hair extension as well. And we're going to plop that right on. So I'm going to show you one more time. You don't need a lot of glue and you don't need to put it on the hair. You just need to put it on the weft of the hair. So there we go. Just a little, little, little bit of glue. You don't need to smother that thing. It's going to stay on your head. It's not going to fall off. And we're going to put it, not on the scalp, but directly below the scalp. I'm going to put that one on this side. We're going to hold it. If you have the blow dryer, blow dry it again to let that bond seal to the hair. And uh, we're just going to wait. 
a couple minutes and let that dry and I'm going to show you how you can remove the hair extensions with ease. So what you're going to need to remove your hair extensions is a wide tooth comb, some dry hairspray, and I have just a little glass of olive oil. And I'm also going to show you the difference between olive oil and conditioner and how olive oil is such a better recommendation to take off hair extensions. One of the first things I want to say about olive oil is it's so much, there's like a lot of nutrition in it for your scalp, your nails, your hair, pretty much anything. And conditioner is good for your hair. So overall, it's already a winner in my book because you're massaging it into your head, it's touching your cuticles, it's touching your scalp, it's touching your hair. You're just going to have so much shine in your hair and it's going to help it bring it back to health after taking out the hair extensions. So this conditioner is just one by one and it's actually the purple hair conditioner that is supposed to tone your hair extensions. This is actually the cheapest hair conditioner I had and I didn't want to use my expensive stuff so that's why I'm using that and yes they are in little shot glasses so I think that is kind of cute. So Gabriella is our model and I wanted to show you we glued these in about 45 minutes ago and they're pretty much stuck in there. If you were doing that to someone's scalp they would be screaming at you. So let's just get started. So this side is going to be our olive oil side and this side is going to be our conditioner side. So I'm going to kind of tilt her on her face. I'm going to take that olive oil. It'd be really nice if you had like a brush or anything like that. And I'm going to take that olive oil and just put it right above her hair extension. And that's just going to run down her hair. And it's conditioning her hair at the same time. So we didn't use too much. And then we're going to take this conditioner. And we're going to apply it to this hair extension. And this is, yes, we can pour this right out. But with conditioner, you can't just put it on the top of your hair extension you're going to actually have to rub this in. So you're already doing a lot more work than you need to do with the olive oil. And you're going to place this as well whew, behind the hair extension. It smells good though. I'll give it that. It smells better than the olive oil. but And you have to massage this in to really get it in. The olive oil, the heat from your head is automatically making the olive oil drain down the uh, the back of the hair extension because it's not as thick as your hair extension. Now since we don't have any heat, I'm just going to blow dry it with the blow dryer for about 30 seconds. It would even be better if you could sleep in the olive oil, but a lot of people don't want to sleep in olive oil or uh, have plastic bags over their heads. So I had to actually stop blow drying because the hair extender is starting to fall out by itself, the one with the olive oil in it. So I'm going to show you just how simple it is to take out a hair extension that has the olive oil in it. Just look at that. That just fell right off her hair. I didn't even tug if you could tell. So you can see that olive oil is just running down the hair. So it's kind of conditioning it. And there's a little bit on the back and you'll be able just to pick that off with your fingers if you want to reuse the hair extension. So it's quite simple. Now we did the same amount of time on this side with this conditioner hair extension and uh, it's still not ready because if I pull it it's going to hurt a human. So I'm going to put the heat on a little longer and I'm going to time it till about when it starts uh, loosening up. So give us a second. It's been about five minutes since I've been putting direct heat on the hair extension with the conditioner in. The hair extension with the olive oil, as you saw, it already just slipped right out. So this one, you're going to have to tug a little more. Yes, I know. But you don't want to be able to, like, hurt them when you're tugging it. So you can see I have to add a little more force to get this off with. So conditioner, you can already tell it's not your best bet. And it's still, it's still sticking to your hair. So... If they were human, they would be saying, ow, 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 <laughs> but um, she's not, so I'm just going to take this off the rest of the way, and she shall be okay, and let's see how easy it is to take off the, the glue. It's not as easy to take off this glue. So already the olive oil won, which you can see, but we're not done yet. And, uh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you, but I'm going to show you why we have the dry shampoo. So as we can see that there's olive oil, 
And olive oil is not going to be the easiest thing to get off your scalp. So you have dry shampoo. And this dry shampoo is, is like a powder, so it's going to absorb all that oil. And I want to put it on the conditioner side, too. It should help a little bit. And uh, it's going to come right out. You can see how there's still a little glue stuck to the scalp. But as soon as you get in that shower and start combing it, you can uh, see it coming right off. So it's already coming off onto the comb. It's not that hard. Don't use a lot of pressure. If it's hard, add some more olive oil. But it shouldn't hurt. It is coming right off the scalp with uh, some of the extra hair extensions that didn't come along with it. So there you go. That is pretty much all you do. And then this side, it has the, uh, the uh, you know, the conditioner side. It's not, it's not as good. And I just don't recommend it. Use olive oil. It's so much better. It's going to help you take off the extension so much easier. It's going to condition your hair. It's going to make your hair shiny. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope it helped some of you out. If you guys have any questions, just comment below. I'm going to put a link right here. This is the winner of my hair product. And she did a short review. If you guys want to check that out, it'd be pretty awesome. As of well, I'll be back in about a week. See you guys.